Now at 11, here we go again. Health officials now say most Americans should get a COVID-19 booster shot. Now the CDC says the soonest you can do that is September 20th, but it's also suggested you don't get the booster until eight months after you were fully vaccinated. That's right, and those booster doses will initially be for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. But those of you who got Johnson & Johnson, you're likely to need one too. Now that it's recommended, how will healthcare companies administer the booster? WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle is getting answers to your questions tonight. Well, so many questions come following the announcement of a COVID-19 booster shot. So now we're talking with local healthcare experts to find out what you need to know. From the nation's commander in chief. This will boost your immune response. It will increase your protection from COVID-19. That's the best way to protect ourselves from new variants that could arise. To local leaders like Angela Burnaman, the ambulatory outpatient pharmacy director at St. Elizabeth. This is really good that this will be coming out. Both welcoming the news of a booster coming on board as many hospitals in the Bluegrass State become overwhelmed due to the number of unvaccinated COVID-19 patients. We only are adding protection on to our and that we will be able to fight this virus and I think it would be you know, very wise for everybody to, to understand that this is a good thing. Here's what you should know. The booster will be available as Pfizer and Moderna. As for Johnson & Johnson. They do think that that will require a booster, but because it was released a little bit later than the Pfizer Moderna, they're still doing those studies on that. So why the booster shot now? Health experts are beginning to see a decreased efficacy in people who got the shots months ago. So will we see mass booster vaccine sites like there were earlier this year? Do we do what we did the first time? I think the bigger question is going to be, well, do we need to do what we did the first time? Burnaman says the vaccine is more readily available than months ago, which means they'll be evaluating whether it would be rolled out at large sites like convention centers and arenas, or if it could be done on a smaller scale. We've got more COVID cases in the hospital. Uh, across the board, so we've got to reevaluate where resources need to go. I asked if the booster will be a one and done shot or if the expectation is for this to become an annual routine. Burnaman says it's too early to know based on the possible emergence of new variants. We just need to finish the job with science, with facts and with confidence. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.